typical setting in software projects, is to do things with strict deadlines, and in a seemingly rush, which leaves no time for learning. Yet, only constantly evolving technological and methodological know-how, makes a software organization succeed in the long term. This evolving know-how, enables doing smart things, for smart goals, and leaving out a lot of unnecessary work. Too often, software organizations, even those, stating to be agile, or lean, work so that they split tasks to individual team members. Everybody completes the tasks on their own. Usually everyone picks the kind of tasks, they can do with their current knowledge. This leads to solving the problems, we can solve. Not the ones we should be solving. Then, every morning in daily scrum meetings, we report to others what we have done. Some might even listen, when others tell what they've been doing. This all is done with the best intentions of working seemingly efficiently, in the short term. What we have really achieved, is everybody sitting busy at their desk. Learning in the team, sharing knowledge, and shifting the team's focus to actually getting something ready, isn't optimized. When team members change, or new projects start, people don't have knowledge about the needed technologies and domains. It's expensive and frustrating to find and train new people. Alright, how do you then implement efficient and scalable learning, and knowledge sharing, on team level? And between different teams? The teams, should effectively adapt new technologies and methodologies. And let me guess, your organization wants them to be productive from day one. I will show some methods, for enabling learning, in software teams. First thing to do, is shifting the focus to building epic level tasks together. The team builds one epic at a time, together, with the whole team. We have a shared goal of getting things ready, and out into the world. Nobody is just building their own little features, but wants to help others, in achieving the common goal. Fair programming, is one effective way of learning, and spreading knowledge. Code reviews, and git pull requests work as well. Mob programming, is one effective way of spreading know-how. Yes, all the brilliant people, working on the same thing, at the same time, in the same space, and on the same computer. What about spreading knowledge between different teams? It's definitely a good idea to support the formation of unofficial groups, around different interests. You can call them circles, tribes, or whatever. They produce new knowledge. You can support the active people in the unofficial groups to network outside your own organization, and attend conferences. You can arrange, fair days, open spaces, tech days, etc., where people meet, and learn what others have been doing. A well-edited weekly newsletter, or a video, is a great way of sharing what has happened, and how we have come closer to our common goal. Visiting the mob programming sessions of other teams, is a great way of taking your knowledge to others, and bringing something back to your own team. It helps, 
If your organization has a clear and purposeful vision, to which everybody can align their self-development. When you assign software developers greater responsibility than just doing some tasks, then your people start seeing the value in developing themselves. For example the popular scrum of scrums, between different teams, works only if the teams share common goals, which will help the entire organization succeed. Doing the things discussed before, helps your people gain self-confidence. Suddenly you have proud professional teams, which also discover to be working in a top organization. This makes recruiting, and briefing new people a lot easier. Your active culture, certainly has a positive impact on your brand, and business, as well. I believe, the more self-regulating your organization is, the better it adapts to changes in markets, and the world. The constantly evolving world, isn't so scary, anymore. Group phenomena, regulate the system much better than for example hierarchy. Self-determination, motivates people to develop themselves, and optimize the whole business, and value chain.